The Dunwich Legacy Investigator expansion contains five additional investigators and 204 player cards used for deck building, but no new scenarios. Well, it's about time this thing arrived. So, are we doing the comprehensive guide or the five minute unboxing? You want a 60 second explanation? You'll be bleeding lucky. Okay, viewers, click on the settings cog and set YouTube to double speed as we do our best. The Dunwich Legacy was the first ever expansion released for the card game and designed at the same time as the core set. It was originally released as a flimsy box with the investigators and a big dump of player cards. Plus the first two scenarios of an eight part campaign. Then came monthly packs with one additional scenario and a pinch of new player cards. So when you are shopping around, make sure you don't confuse these two boxes, particularly if you find a price that seems really cheap or you are buying second hand. This new packaging format was trialled last year with the Edge of the Earth cycle, so check out those videos to see more. A new box containing the complete campaign is on its way, but dates in your country may vary. Here is a quick look at the outside and notice how it handily tells you that if you purchased the previous format, there is nothing new in here that you don't have already. So put that FOMO to bed right now. But that doesn't mean you get to stop watching the video! That's right, there may be jokes or an outdoor segment or other wackiness. Oh, we may give away a copy of Barkamora! We are not giving away a copy of Barkamora. Oi, all this doesn't count for my 60 seconds. The clock doesn't start till I break the shrink wrap. That's the law. Well, get on with it. Although it is larger than the first Dunwich box, it still retains its flimsy construction, disposable insert, and massive quantity of empty space. Inside are two Ziploc bags of full-size player cards, a smaller bag of mini cards, and a single-page rule sheet that has rules for the exile mechanic introduced in this set and clarification of the researched cards. Last, to let you know it is a genuine Asmodee product, they have included some advertising. There are five investigators, one for each class, and they all have the same deck size and style of deck building requirements. Namely, unlimited cards of their own colour plus neutral, and up to five level zero cards from any combination of all the other colours. Each investigator is handily grouped with their signature cards, so you don't have to go hunting for them, and they get just two, so it isn't complicated. The cards are sorted by colour, with rogues breaking across the two packs. Best of all, they are in level order, so all your zero level cards are right at the front, ready for you to grab and go and start deck building. Then they ascend by experience cost. That's those little white pips. Don't forget, you can mix all of these cards and investigators in with your base set right away. Every card comes with two copies, including the exceptional cards, which you are only allowed one off per deck. This is something they stopped doing in later cycles. After the five classes come the neutral cards. Unlike the core set, you only get two of each, so you won't end up with more cookeries than you can legally have in play. If you purchase the revised core box, you will see some familiar cards, which is great because no one could object to more copies of Charisma. But as for the others, your mileage may vary. At the back are three new basic weaknesses, which you should just mix into your core box selection. Likewise, they come with two copies to increase your chance of drawing them, and so that multiple investigators can have a copy. That's pretty much all you need to know, other than it looks like they have updated the necessary cards with the errata from the FAQ. We are not at home to Mr. Slideshow. No, there is no content from the Return 2 box in this product, you'll still have to buy that separately.